cistern pump in one of our below ground poly tanks. And uh, in this video, we'll demonstrate not only how to install the pump inside the tank, but also how to uh, run pipe through plastic tank walls in a, in a way that ensures that the, the pipe connections are watertight. And for that, we're gonna use a couple of our pipe penetration gaskets. First thing that I'd like to mention is that when you're installing a poly, one of our poly underground cisterns, as soon as you take the lid off of one of the, the manholes, you'll notice that there's a black plastic uh, sleeve, and these are install instructions for the tank itself. You definitely want to take note of these instructions and follow them to a T to ensure that your, uh, that your plastic tank is installed, installed safely. The first thing we're going to do to install our cistern pump is drill out a hole for the water line. Uh, and this is going to be the discharge end of the pump, pushing water to wherever our end point is going to be. And, uh, for Ohio, where we are, we want to make sure that our water line is going to be at least three feet below grade to ensure that it's protected from frost, from freezing. So the, uh, what we want to do first is set up our riser, whatever uh, height we're going to use for our tank. This is, a, this is a, a manhole extension so that we can get, we can bury this tank more deeply underground. And for this, uh, application we need a two foot riser so we're going to count for this two foot riser and then we're going to add another 18 inches and make a mark on the tank and that's where we're going to drill our hole for the pipe penetration okay so i made a mark that's that is accounting for not only the height of the riser but also uh, where we're going to backfill to when we install this tank uh, we always want to leave a few inches of riser above grade. Um, we usually use eight inches above grade. And that's to ensure that no groundwater contaminates the tank and gets in through the lid, through the riser. So our backfill level is actually going to be right here once this tank is underground. And this, uh, three feet down from this point, is where I made the mark. When you're drilling, you want to make sure that your bit is very tight inside this uh, this hole saw, and that the arbor's on tight. You don't want any wobble in your hole saw, um, or else that will enlarge the hole and throw the the, the uh, throw the dimensions off. Okay, we got our hole drilled out. You want to try to bore it out a little bit with a, with a knife, just ream it out just to make sure there's no extra uh, fibers in there. And then this gasket is couldn't be easier to install. You just literally push it right through the tank wall. Uh, it should be tight, uh, but not, you know, you, should, you can still get it out at this point. Uh, so we got that in, now we're ready to push our pipe through. So I have a piece of pipe, uh, this is one inch PVC, schedule 40, uh, I, I pre-cut it. This is what I'm going to push through this, this uh, pipe penetration gasket. And uh, it is, it's going to be a very tight fit pushing it through there. Um, the way this gasket works is once, once this pipe pushes through, it's going to flare out this gasket from inside the tank. Uh, and, and once that flares out, it's, it's going to be in there, locked in, and it's going to be, more importantly, a watertight seal. So uh, we, want to, we want to push this through, but again, it's, it's designed to be very tight. So a lot of times you want to take a file and file down this, bevel it at an angle. Um, sometimes on the, on the smaller diameter pipe, you don't have to do that. But at the very least you want to make sure to put some sort of lubricant on the pipe this soap works just fine uh, in, in small amounts you can use pipe lubricant um, i would not suggest using water it, it, it dries up too quickly uh, and then we'll just work this through and now it's it's locked in uh, and we want to push 
enough pipe through so that we can hook our pump in to this one inch water line from the inside uh, while also leaving enough pipe outside so that we can adapt to whatever underground water line we're running. So our next step is going to be uh, measuring to plumb up the pump to this, to this uh, one inch water line inside the cistern. Again, this is a submersible pump, so this is going inside the cistern. Um, I already put a PVC adapter into this pump. In this case, this pump has inch and a quarter female threading on the top, so I have an inch and a quarter male PVC adapter with a inch and a quarter by one inch uh, reducer bushing in the top here. Um, so I'm running one inch pipe, and I'm going to take a measurement of this pump. I'm going to measure from the bottom of the pump to the insert depth on this fitting, which, uh, as you can see, uh, is down here. So I, I only want to measure up to this point, uh, and that is 27 inches. And now I'm going to measure inside the tank from the floor to the bottom of this pipe and subtract the difference and that's how that's how uh, long of a uh, piece of pipe that I'm going to cut for this fitting to work into a 90 so that so that with a 90 degree fitting the pipe will go straight up and over into this pipe. Now the other thing that I'm doing here is uh, I want to put a union fitting on this horizontal run of one inch pipe inside the tank. This union fitting allows for a quick release of the pump if I ever need to pull this pump out for servicing. Uh, a union is, is just a, a disconnect point in the pipe um, that allows for, again, a quick disconnect to yank the pump out. So now I'm about to glue this 90 de uh, degree fitting in uh, right into the top of the pump. Um, but I wanted to make a quick note that if you're in an area where your frost line is deeper than 36 inches and you need to get this pipe closer to the bottom of the tank and the pump is too tall. One of the, the benefits of this Franklin model is that it has a pedestal here and this pedestal is non-essential uh, non to the function of the pump. It's solely there to keep the pump off of the floor of the tank. So you can actually cut this pedestal down if you need to drop that pump a few inches uh, to get underneath the water line. So now I got the 90 degree fitting glued into the uh, top of the pump. This is one half of the union. Uh, now I can drop the pump in and thread the union together and our pump is officially plumbed up. So now uh, the question is, what do we do with the wire that's coming out of the pump? Uh, we, we, need to, we need to, of course, run this wire back to our pressure tank, our pressure switch uh, in particular, and we need to get it out of the tank in a safe way. Uh, for this, I always recommend consulting your local electrical code, but uh, here's what we do for uh, the bulk of our installs. We will... Um, pick a point on this riser that's going to be above grade and we're going to drill out another hole with the same pe pipe penetration gasket that we use for this water line. And we're going to push conduit through there and use what's called a, an LB uh, to, to pull our wire through, um, specifically wire coming from the inside of the house to the tank. We're going to run that wire up through conduit into the LB through the LB into the tank, and then we'll use a submersible splice kit to connect that wire to this pump wire right inside the tank wall. And all that will be uh, above grade so that there's no risk of groundwater getting in and so you can locate the electric where it's coming into the tank. So uh, the riser here, you'll notice that on our risers there's flat spots. Um, we use those flat spots to, to drill out and insert the gasket. Again, we use the same pipe penetration gasket. This, in this case, is one inch. Push one inch conduit through here, 
glued on a one inch LB and then ran uh, enough conduit to drop this wire below grade to a safe depth uh, that allows for direct berry uh, cable. So this is just to protect those, those top, uh, top two feet and then to protect it going into the tank and to keep this electrical connection point above our maximum water level, which in this case will be down here in the, in the tank. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful. And um, we, uh, our website is rainbrothers.com. Uh, we carry all these products in, in, uh, in large quantity, in large inventory at our warehouse. We'd love your support. We'd love your business. Uh, as always, any product that we sell, we offer full technical support from field trained staff so we can guide you through every step of the installation. We offer the lowest prices available uh, and we'll match any, any lower price if you're able to find it. And I really appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.